Wow. So when was my last posted video? I don't know. I do things and then I quit doing things, and but I have not stopped caching. And today, uh, I am going to try, starting here with this, a make a nice video of us going up to a big northern city and running a little bit of a power trail coming back. Uh, I've tagged some uh, very cool caches that I'm going to really try to get video shots of if uh, when we get there the situation does not warrant two-handed use and it's not too wet and I don't want to have to wait if possible because it is getting a little cooler north of us and I don't want to have to get my feet wet unless I absolutely have to but I really would like to get a particular cache that I've got tagged uh, if it shows up in the video you'll know it I'm not going to give it away here so more down the road we have reached one of our final destinations huh. no this isn't something to play with come here Hup. you want to get her? yeah get her uh, they're going the other way okay. uh, and We've already found one in this uh, very big cemetery where there are actually six caches in it. So we're attempting the second one right now. All of these should be good. So. Did you know that's a ginkgo biloba tree? A geoling tree? Yeah. That's the biggest one I've seen. 68 feet. I think it's in this one over here. Oh, well, I could be wrong. No, maybe not. Okay. It is a cache hidden in a tree. Those are always fun. The last one was tethered up rather high off the ground. Ah! No! In the hollow of the tree. Stop it. Oh, a good quick find. Okay, after this we'll move on to the next one. Toby! No. There's the geo dog that's small. <laughs> Toby just doesn't get out much. <laughs> also, uh, I do YouTube videos. Oh, really? Uh, just okay. uh, while caching here, look, we found somebody <laughs> caching. Cash crazy. Cash, cash crazy and everything's uh, here. Cashy lady. I forgot who I was. Cashy lady. I'm mom babe. Uh, oh! Wait, let me get you in here. There you go. I'm, I'll be put putting this on YouTube when I get back home. Uh, we are from Tennessee. Oh, yeah. Okay. We've we cached in Tennessee. We drove a bit. long way to get up here. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, we live in Ottawa. So. Well, we, well, that is in Tennessee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but, yeah, whatever. Nice to meet you. Yeah, we, there it was one in, uh, hours to get uh, Yeah. What was that one? Was that in Nashville or that Disney thing? We went back like three or four times, and it's everybody kept finding no, it. No, that was down in Gatlinburg. Gatlinburg. Oh, it was Gatlinburg. right in front of the. Uh, oh, yeah. right in front of the. Uh, looking and looking. It wasn't yeah. Disney. It was the it was Ripley's. Disney. Um, well, it was Ripley's Disney Aquarium, store, I think. Yeah. Oh, well, that was one of the. You guys did the tunnel. Oh. Tunnel. There's an old railroad tunnel over here. Uh. -uh. It's. Uh, mm -hmm. I've got it on my queue to do today. Oh really? Uh, we called, may have it too. Anyway. It's R R R R one something. Or yeah, it doesn't. Well, it's you have to go into the tunnel that's about fine. 300 that's yards. Cool. I got yeah. flashlights. I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we got all that. Day. I'll get video of that nice too. Day. Yeah, it is. In we fact, found them in Germany and Alaska. Oh, you're well, well traveled in France. 127 or 27 yeah, highway, uh, 27 whatever. Yeah, I got almost 2,000. He said we'll try to get a hundred. <laughs> we'll uh, uh, we're doing the 127 awesome. power trail when we do we did, the few. Well, West Virginia yeah. one day. Have you did any of those yet? <laughs> yeah. Okay. We just picked them up. That's awesome. Kind of like that. We're, we're going to try to cash as many of them going go south as I can get. Oh, okay. Virginia, yeah. West Virginia. You make a pocket uh, query? Either the end oh, yeah. of this yeah. month or the beginning yeah, of next month. I've got a complete route in here where we need to go. You ever been to a geobash? Miami, Florida. No, we went through here. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's <laughs> been there for 20 yeah. years. Oh, there's one up they in uh, Wauseon, Ohio. We've been up there three or four times. 
Uh, and uh, yeah. it's all so the easy because they lay them all out all over the whole town. Yeah, you you can get like a hundred up in a day. You know, just weed. It's, too, it's, too, hot. it's yeah. too hot and too expensive. Good place to go to bounce oh, your numbers yes, out. Oh, now, where are you from originally? We live in Loveland, Ohio. Some kind okay. of tax. Yeah, right. Uh, not too far. You need to come uh, down to the Columbus, I don't know about Tennessee. That's in Tennessee. Oh, really? No, if you start it early enough in the day, you'll end the day with about 400. Really? Wow. Yeah, Tennessee only does it during the day. Hour trailing. That's a good way to bounce your numbers. Uh, Brenda that I usually cash with is uh, Cloud Dog 9 and uh, we were up here like about three, two or three weeks oh, ago and because he didn't yeah, have an I Ohio need, cash and we were doing the 127 trail and then we found oh, out he was coming up the trail. Most of them were on the south side. Oh really? <laughs> so I said okay we're driving past these I'll get you up to Ohio and we got up here like it's almost 930 at night and so we're over here cashing around in the downtown area of Cincinnati at night. Oh really? Yeah. He wasn't real shoes. crazy about I mean, that, but I'm like, we like can do it. Food. Well, there's a lot of good cashiers around here. They, they put a lot of them out. Some of them are a lot the easier than others. But um, there's one yeah, the uh, cashier, Hyder, and his name's uh, Colonel Chad Mustard. On so if ever you see any of his caches, expect to stay there half an hour at oh, least. Nice. He really hides some good ones. Yeah. And after you find them, you say, oh, it was right in plain sight the whole time. <laughs> as long as the coordinates are good, I've got no issue with them. Right. And when you get to some like uh, we have that room where the coordinates will be like 30 feet off or you know, higher, yeah, right. and, it's, and it's, if you're looking for something, you know, this big, oh, that's that's mm -hmm. Well, at the Geobash, they had a so general discussion with some of the trend. reviewers. Yeah, the and some of the people in the audience said, Oh, yeah, we thought that was too though. easy. We moved uh, it a little yeah, bit to make it more difficult. So, that's what he said, That isn't uh, right. Yeah, we just, and the uh, coordinates are the coordinates. Like you don't mean moving it, but yeah. I guess so you know, people have their own idea about no. geocaching. Oh, yeah, well, they're doing it wrong, man. Absolutely. Yeah. Moving public. You know, look at the rating. Is it a 1 1 or 1 1 half or whatever? Don't be upping it to a <laughs> this is the fun of geocaching, getting out and running into people by accident. Okay, now we're going to the cache. We're looking for Isaac. That's the name of the cache. Isaac? Yeah. Pulling to the tree, which I think most of these are going to be in. Okay. I don't think it's this one. Two feet, it better be. I was thinking that stump over yonder. Oh, hold it. Nope, that's not it. That's not it. Look on the fence. Okay, while this is all exciting and everything, we will get back to you later. <laughs> okay, we found the last one pretty quick. Wasn't where we thought it was, but uh, we got it. And now we're at another one, which is putting cords over on this area. Let's see. A likely tree for it. Very likely tree. Cords are within six feet. Where are you going? Joseph. He's ready to go back home. 
that's it. That's a good story. I didn't get that one. What did you find out? What is, um, what is the bush. cash? What is the cash called? For whom the bell tolls. Oh. And there she goes. My dog chases squirrels, my wife chases lizards. All right, let's sign this log and head to the next one. Okay, this is the really cool one that we are going to attempt. I've already did a preliminary check and the water is definitely down and someone has constructed a bridge to get past the main water area if it's not too high which is very cool uh, probably the homeless people that might live in here but in any case we are going in okay when we get down here we'll probably need to pick them up uh, so they don't step off into the water. Okay. Um, Go ahead and head down and <laughs> because they're dogs. I don't know if they're thirsty enough to drink any of that, but you never know. at the entrance and once we get in a little bit I will uh, cut on some light and we'll get our pooches in here we go okay here we go uh, hold it zoom out there we go here we go yes it is well it's only a little dark here where eyes are getting acclimated to this old tunnel I'm going to do a shot of the entrance coming in. Oh, look at that. There is the end of the tunnel. And coming in, as you can see, a bridge of pallets, barely. Let I me mean, see if I can zoom in on those. Quit shaking, Molly. Yes, there's the, the guardrail and a bridge of pallets coming in, and they reach to the ties. Uh, wow, I cannot believe someone did that because that just made getting in here a whole lot less getting wet. So once you get in, you step on the ties till you clear the water, which comes to right about there. And then you come into this old tunnel and we get in here and we go get the cash. I know, Cloud Dog, you're just sitting at home looking at this dying, I know. I'm sorry that you couldn't be here for this one. I wish we'd have found it when we were up here last time, but you know, if we had did this the last time we come up here, this would have been a night cash. And that would have really been freaky. Okay, we're going down there, and well, it doesn't show up on the video, but surprisingly you can see the light at the end of the tunnel. This has got a slight bend in it. Okay, and I know about what to look for for the cash marking, so we're on our way. <laughs> there we are. Okay, we have navigated the tunnel, and... As you can see behind me, that little blip of light is the far entrance. North entrance, I would guess you would call it. I didn't get to sit on the throne. We'll have to go back and maybe do that. Uh, this would be the south entrance, which uh, doesn't actually look uh, too bad getting in and out of. We're not sure as of yet. So we're going to see if we can navigate out of that and then just walk back to the car from the south. There's a travel bag in here. Oh. Okay, but uh, yes, we have walked all the way through the tunnel, which is actually shorter than I thought it was. And this is the abandoned train tunnel in Cincinnati. Ooh, fun. Yep, 
we're going to sign the log and move out. We attempted exit from the south end of the tunnel. Do not do this. It is not a good way out. There's the south entrance. El Mucho Debris is at the entrance. And the sides are very steep. Uh, probably a five or six foot uh, loose rock climb to get yourself out. One person can probably do it. Uh, that much is be said, but a person with uh, a family group with kids and my wife and two dogs and a backpack with a fragile travel bug in it, no, this is not a good way to go. So it's back to the north entrance and across the pallet bridge. Well, we're calling it a night. Um, we totaled out 45 caches, the majority of which were probably night caches uh, on this power trail of, not a fast moving power trail, but a good power trail. The majority of them were where they supposed to be. My wife is coming back for the last one now, but there's still plenty left to come back up here and run the rest of it on down towards Danville. So this is Flag 2007, calling it a night. <laughs>